Five. Well, you saw it first on two Houston firefighters left with a big mess after a part of the ceiling came crashing down over at Station 49. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner spoke with the firefighters at the station when it happened and has more on the cleanup efforts. Workers at Station 49 are counting their blessings because the captain tells me things could have been a lot worse. This video from an HFD member shows the scary moments after the ceiling collapse at the Houston Fire Department Station 49 Saturday morning. We were actually leaving the station because we were going to relieve uh, another crew that was uh, had made a fire last night about 4.30 in the morning. Captain Andy Williamson and several others were there when the sheet rock fell on this ambulance. It sounded like somebody dropped something and the... Uh, and the, and the bay, and they, I didn't think too much of it. And then somebody else had, had actually seen it and yelled out, watch out, the ceiling's coming down. The city's general service department cleaned up the mess and worked to secure other parts of the ceiling from crumbling down. Luckily, no one was hurt. It could have been a lot worse. Um, most days, I'd say on a Saturday morning, about that time, guys are checking out the station, guys are eating breakfast, they're looking at things. In a tweet, Houston Fire Chief says Station 49 was renovated in the early 2000s. He asks the city's 94 fire stations should represent the best in government. We're doing what uh, what we can with uh, for the maintenance and upkeep of our of our fire stations, and but you know across the city, across the city is an issue that uh, we have aging aging facilities, and uh, you know this it needs a, a, an investment that. that uh, that's really hard to come by at this point. The roof, the ceiling, I believe the ceiling collapsed at Station 49. It may have been because that there was a, a leak, an undetected leak there, uh, but uh, it is already, work has already uh, started uh, to make those necessary, to make those necessary repairs. Fortunately, no one was injured. I'm just glad that, uh, you know, stuff can be uh, repaired on the anything that's damaged, but I'm glad that nobody got hurt. Earlier, the fire chief stated they still had to evaluate what damage may have been done to the medic unit the ceiling fell on. In the newsroom, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC, Channel 2 News.